Film for, for giving me this chance of explaining to you all something that you can do straight away, okay? This is what we want to show you from the Spanish uh, Manual, Medic Manual Medicine Society. It's something that you can do, it's a test that you can do right away. It only takes five seconds to do to a patient uh, and we can tell if the patient has a fracture or hasn't got a fracture, okay? It's a clinical diagnosis of retroviral fractures, okay? But it wasn't much evident, okay? Uh, in fact, this lady went to to another clinic the day before and they said she had nothing at all. But after doing the test that we're going to show you, we knew that she had a fracture, okay? So we did a, an emergency MRI and we can see that she's got a T2, T3, T4 and T6 vertebral fractures, okay? She's fine now, okay, at the moment. So, what are the symptoms of a vertebral fracture? We have pain, pain on our back, but the pain is usually below fracture level. If we have a fracture on T11 or T12, we're going to have pain on our lower back, okay? Then we can have constipation, I always ask for that, okay? We have difficulty to go into the toilet. The pain relieves in supine position, okay? So if we lay flat on, on, on bed or on the floor, we're going to feel better. And it worsens when we're sitting or if we're standing, okay? And we have uh, much difficulty with turnings and transfers, okay? Like uh, turning on the bed or from sitting to standing, we have many difficulties. So we have a patient that comes to the emergency room, okay? And we tell him to lay on your back, please. Okay. See, well, okay. So we lay, on, uh, we lay the patient on, on her back, okay, in this case. We're going to hold um, the ankle, okay? We're not uh, doing the thrust from the, from, the, from the foot, but from the ankle over the maleolus. We're going to put a 20 degrees flexion of the hip, okay, so the psoas uh, doesn't work, okay, just in case we have a, like a, a, a strong psoas. Okay, so we do 20 degrees of flexion, we hold here maleolus, and then we do a straight uh, thrust leg test, okay? And this is what's going to happen. Okay, this is what's happening. If we have a fracture, the patient is going to touch or is going to complain. It's going to complain with pain at the level of the fracture, okay? Maybe it's got pain here, but when we do the test, it's going to complain here on the, between the, the thoracolumbar joint, okay? 